not the greatest of times. We spent a considerable amount of time. I live in Los Angeles. He would come to my house frequently. I would go to the house where he was staying. Uh, we would be, go around the city and uh, once took a trip to Las Vegas together, etc. Um, I like to stay up all night. I'm a nocturnal creature. Uh, he did not know the meaning of uh, turning the lights off during that particular time in his life. He was terribly unhappy. And what he did is he transformed the unhappiness into escapism, primarily through alcohol, through drink. He was not fun to drink with, to say the least. So my recollections of that period was of a, of a John Lennon just trying to find himself, just trying to get back on track, and of course to get back with Yoko. I think he was really lonely. John married very young. And after his uh, divorce from Cynthia, uh, he was with Yoko for the rest of his youth and early adult life. He had never been single. So the concept of suddenly becoming single and coming to Los Angeles um, initially must have sounded like a great idea, playboy land. And uh, for most uh, mature and intelligent people, uh, that's really, really, really hot for about a week and a half. And then you wake up and you look around and you're alone. Or there's somebody there, but you're alone. And after being with Yoko so long, it's not as if you're going to find a replacement for that experience. He did go off the deep end. Uh, in fact, he had... Uh, John once said, some people have a bachelor party. I had a, uh, a lost weekend that went on for 18 months or however long it went. He wanted to get back with her, you know. He called her constantly. She didn't feel that he was ready. Yoko felt that there were more cards that had to be dealt onto the table before um, John's cup was empty. And finally, it was Yoko who was open to seeing if John had, um, in his own way, come back. He was lost. That period of time during their separation, Yoko spent a lot of time working on herself, a lot of introspection. She was very, very, very clear and very straight. And John was just playing out uh, old fantasies and old tape loops that had not yet been exhausted. John's cup was full with too much stuff, a cacophony of noise and input and Beatlemania and celebrity and rock and roll and too many people talking to him constantly. He, ju he needed time to, to slow down. And he did. And they reunited.